Good evening and welcome back. Hopefully you joined us last time where we played our first match in Division 1 at home to Atletico Madrid and we got a very convincing 2-0 win. New boy Ruben Castro getting on the score sheet. Let's see who can start today though. Mudrick has come back in in place of Castro even though he had a magnificent match but Mudrick was on a downward red. He's been brought back in. Mariba's going to start this game in place of Herrera who's on a bit of a downward form. Other than that, our first choice 11. Just to let you know another piece of information, Castledean, who was one of our youngsters, he's actually left. We've sold him for about 10.5 million. We've got a bid in. And when I was looking through the squad, probably don't really have a place for him. Harrington's was always my favourite out of the two. Similar-ish players, similar position, with the likes of Castro in. Arcas, probably going to struggle to get a game as well. I don't think Castledean was worth keeping, freeing up a little bit of the salary budget as well. And it's another big team, Valencia away, beautiful looking stadium. This is going to be a very tricky match. As they all are, I suppose. Mariba playing in that deeper role. We have changed it to centre midfield because that's his favourite position. Um he can play defensive mid, so but I did think I'd change that. Cousin's played well in the last match. Oh, he were giving it away straight away. He did give it away a couple of times when he came on as a sub in the last match. Nothing major, it was just uh, an errant pass or two. Sixty one nil. Not sure what Cossonu was doing up there, but he's got an assist. I don't think he had any assists or goals in um, in our first season. What a start. Great tackle. Sorry. Was that... No, it was Mariba. Was it? It's taken me a while to get used to these plays. I'm so used to just seeing plays in certain positions um, and knowing who they are. And uh, that must have been Mariba. And if it was, what a start for him. We'll have to check the assist later on. Emerson had a good game in the last match. He looked a uh, good save there. Well, comfortable save. He looks like he's going to be the more attacking of the fullbacks. Mariba, oh, what a strike. That was cleanly hit. Yeah, it was going in the top right corner. Nice play, Emerson. Oh, ho, ho. He's got some strike on him as well. He he is a great addition already, I can tell. He's only played just over a game. Um, but just the improvement. And we knew that all along that we wanted to improve. I think the weakest position was the wing backs. And we have certainly strengthened both sides now. I think by the looks of back, it's probably going to be the more dependable one defensively and Emerson's going to be very attacking here's Vieira and Perez Emerson getting through again oh, somehow doesn't find a player so he got a little bit lucky there Good header, but Valencia won it back. Emerson looks strong as well. 
Not just quick and powerful, but he's got some strength to him. Guson's very tidy looking player. Nice ball there to Perez. Yara. Zixi. Oh, nearly through to Vieira again. Modric. Oh, good save again. We are all over Valencia. Ah, oh, unlucky there. Just hit Emerson on the back. Good tackle from Mariba. Now Modric. Vieira. Ah, blocked. Yes, Goose once again. Sexy. Oh, he's offside. That was a lovely finish as well. He was definitely off. I could see it. Just as I was about to shoot, I could see it, but I was hoping that maybe I was wrong. Definitely something about this team and the, the changes we've made, the transfer uh, transfers. Here's Mudrik. Oh my word. Potential goal of the month job already. And Xerxes with another assist. Got one in the last game, I believe. Nice control. Simple pass. But lovely finish. The keeper's been playing really well. He's pulled off some great saves. He's probably kept them in it. Circe, again, what a top centre forward he is all round. He's got goals. He's got a little bit of pace, not massive. Great finishing. But his hold-up plays, passing, just linking up the wingers and the attack midfielders. He's, um, I wouldn't say he's irreplaceable, but he's, he's what, he's very difficult to replace. Um, Castro is a very different player than him. And, uh, you know, Castro did mainly play on the left in the last match until we make some changes. Here's Mariba again. Nice little dummy from Perez. And back to Emerson. Now Mariba. Ah, straight to the keeper. Good effort, though. These midfielders are sort of mixing it up and swapping positions. Some are getting forward and then they're staying back the next time. It's really good to see. Hard to mark. Vieira. Zixi. Mudrick. Oh, nearly Mudrick. Vieira again. Now Xerxes, oh wide. This time he was onside and he missed it. Whew. That should be half time as soon as they launch this. And it is really good half. 71% possession. Amazing stuff. And it was Cossonu. I was right all along. It was Cossonu that got the assist. I was just second guessing myself because I was thinking, why would he be that far up the pitch? Could it have been... Marie Bear or Emerson or someone, I don't know, but it was Cosinou. Don't think anyone had a bad performance in that half. And I think for the midfield, getting Cousins was that final touch that we needed. Mariba's doing pretty solid as well, but we've now got that potential rotation. Oh, lovely finish. Yeah, we're getting in on the act. He was, uh, I would say, our first star of this series. When we brought him him in, Xerxes and Carlos Perez have obviously turned out to be brilliant. So was Schubert. 
he made a world class save in his first game I believe but Vieira in the first few games he played he just looked way above any player we had including the likes of Perez and Xerxes that were bought in Xerxes took a time to settle in Perez that a well, I think Perez played pretty well at the start as well, but Vieira was certainly more consistent. So good to see him um, getting on the score sheet early in this in this season. I mean, Cousins was a bargain. He was a free contract, pre-contract agreement. Not a massive salary either. And he just looks like might have a player young. Not like a superstar at the moment, but talented fits well in that three uh, midfield three you can play in different positions which is what I want I want these midfielders to potentially play in centre midfield defensive midfield attack midfield depending how we want to play that day or swap them around great goalkeeper in there brought him out but yeah Cousins just again just spotted him and there's just something about him I thought it caught my eye Nearly. Lovely ball. Mudrick. Oh, should have scored. Good play from Cousins again. He looks like another Vieira almost. Slightly different style. Plays a little bit deeper. He's got good free kick accuracy, which is uh, definitely a positive. We will make some changes shortly, by the way. Back at... Oh, that's... Uh, ambitious is an understatement. Nice play from back there. Very calmly taken. Oh, Perez should have scored. It was actually a good shot. It was just fortunately almost straight to the keeper. Good tackle there. Modric. Ah, deflects. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to make any substitutions because uh, the ball hasn't gone out for quite a long time. And it's getting to the stage now where it's not worth making the substitution because you don't actually get any sort of experience or rating. If I think it's if you don't play more than 15 minutes, maybe 20. Cousins. Oh, good save. So yeah, we're not going to make any subs now, I wouldn't think. cleared there oh lovely ball to Mudrik from Cousins that's not who I was actually trying to play it to nice tackle from Mariba he's looked pretty good there playing a bit deeper Lovely play from Cousins again. Mudrik, I'm not quite sure how he didn't get the ball there. Oh, it's a poor pass from Perez. It was quite a simple ball. play there oh, again really nice play Perez with a shock and touch I mean he's a great player but he's uh, hasn't had the best 10 or 15 minutes and that's a free kick to Valencia just caught him it's 
a shame I couldn't make any changes. It's not just for fresh legs, it's um, for that experience as well. You know, you want to get as many players getting a bit of game time. That's why I normally put them on with half an hour to go, give them a good chance to, to make an impact on the game and get a half decent rating. Also saves our starting 11 for the next game as well in terms of a bit of freshness. Oh, nice ball through there to Mudrik. Cixi. Cixi again. <laughs> and that will be full time. How we haven't scored more than three, I'm not sure. But there we go. Cixi, Mudrik and Vieira all getting on the score sheet. 65% possession. 11 shots on targets with over 140 passes. That's probably even normally more than what we, what we get. Brilliant stuff. Six, he get man of the match. I thought Cousins was brilliant. So only to get a six. Maribe as well, I thought was better than that. Emerson only getting a five. I think that's quite frankly ridiculous. But uh, to me, that was a great all-round performance. And I know we've only played two games, but it is technically the end of the month. So just having a look at the stats there. Uh, Zixi with two assists. Mudrik with a 7.5. Ruben Castro had a brilliant first game, but yeah, let's see how we get on with a full month ahead. And as you can see on the right there, it's only two matches in, but we've got six points. And because of the goal difference, we're actually top. How good does that look? But thank you very much once again. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and think about subscribing just to keep up to date with all of the videos. But I'll see you next time. Cheers.